Hey guys, so I am doing a vintage slash thrift haul and this is going to be kind of big because I went um, to an estate sale like I think a few weeks ago. I got a few things there that I've been saving and that's like the vintage part and then the thrift is what I got yesterday at um, St. Vincent de Paul th like thrift store. I don't know what it's really called but it's in LA and um, Fashion Citizen just talked about it in their recent video and yeah that's the same one so i am going to show you what i got from that thrift store and it's huge it's seriously so big um but it's amazing so um oh and my makeup is all crazy and like um dramatic because i did a photo shoot today with monica my friend and um that is why it's all everywhere but i figured um i have time to do a video today so why not I'm using natural lighting, so sorry if it's shadowy. Anyways, moving on to the video, I'm going to start with um, the estate sale. If you don't know what that is, it's when a person passes away and um, they're like, I don't know exactly how it works, if the family okays it or what, but companies come and have estate sales at the house of the person who passed away and literally sell everything in the house. Like, you walk through and you can just take furniture, knickknacks, jewelry, clothing, all that stuff. And this lady, um, she got style, so I'm so excited about this. Like, I seriously wanted so much, and it was pretty pretty cheap. Like, everything was, I think the most expensive thing was $3, and I believe it was this dress. Oh, everything's falling. Um, this is the first thing I got. It is a 50 style dress, and it has this little white collar with the white detailing on the pockets. And it buttons in the front and then it just flares and it's pretty long. It's not a maxi. It goes down to maybe like the knee, a little past the knee maybe. But it comes with a belt too, just a plain blue belt. And it is really cute on. Like it looks really nice. Um, very nice fit, like shape that it makes and stuff. And so I got that. It's hard to see because it's so long and hard to show but sorry guys. Okay, I just turned on the light a little bit so that I'm not so shadowy. But um, the next thing I got was this little scarf, and it's just a white and blue polka dot scarf, and um, this is a dollar. I liked the pattern and the shape and everything, so it looks kind of like a double-ended tie, if that makes sense. So I got that, and then I got a cardigan, which I've been living in. This is a like forest green, dark green cardigan. And it just looks like that. It's very simple. The buttons aren't very special. They're just plain brown. But I kind of like that. And it's just like a knit material. And I absolutely adore that color. Like I don't even care if it's not the fall anymore. I just love that color all year round. The next thing I got was this little... Ugh, how does this work? This little blouse. It's um like a little shirt with... These kind of, it looks like sprinkles, it kind of reminds me of sprinkles or birthdays or something, I don't know. But, um, they're just little pastel dots everywhere. And this looks really cute tucked into, like, high-waisted skirts and shorts and stuff, so I just got that. I think that was $2. This is a while ago, so it's, I'm not 100% sure on these prices, but it's about, it's about right. Um, and the last thing I got from the estate sale is this long sleeve 70s button down with a funky print. It's like pastel and really soft and comfortable, but look at this print. It's crazy. I don't even know what it is, but just like a bunch of flowers and I don't know. I just thought it was really fun and unique and I really liked it. And it was only two, $2 I want to say. So that's all I got from the estate sale. Moving on to the St. Vincent de Paul one. Um, they actually had really good prices, but they, since they were so big, you really have to spend time like going through every single rack. Um, the first thing I'll show you is what I'm wearing, and it's this Obey shirt. And it, um, I'm not really like into t-shirts or graphic tees or obey or any of that stuff but I really liked that it was ripped right here um at first I was like maybe I'll cut the neckline but then I just decided to put some safety pins in it you can see 
And um, I just like how big it is and how like loose it is. And I can like put it over the shoulder if I want or off the shoulder. And um, I also put some right there just for fun. So yeah, I just got that. That was I think five, six, five, six, let's see. I think it was six dollars which is really really a lot but I actually originally saw it and I put it back I'm like now nah, I'm not gonna spend six six dollars I think on a shirt um, especially a t-shirt that I probably won't wear but I was as I was looking through other racks it just kept bugging me in the back of my head so I went to fi find it and it I love it already and it's like the first thing I wore um, out of the bunch so I'm really happy I went back for this because I really love it and it's really comfortable okay the next thing I got is my most expensive item. And it is a red, like maroon colored blazer. And I love this. It is so well made. It's really tailored to my body, like really, really nicely. And it's just really cute. It, the buttons aren't my favorite. They're just like red plastic, but I wish they were like gold or something like that, but they have them on the sleeve too. But this is a really well put together blazer and it was $6.99. And so like, I figured you don't come across blazers like this too often and I knew I'd regret it if I didn't buy it. So I just picked that up and yeah, it was red. What can I say? The next thing I got was um, this little blouse for the springtime. It's coming off like a lot duller than it is, but it's a pretty like pastel blue color. And it's just silk and it's just like uh, sleeveless with a little nice lapel right here. And um, it was $3.99, but the green tags I think were half off. So it was $2. So I just got that. And then I also got this little blouse that was also half off $2.99 so it was $1.50 and it's just like a white linen blouse with um, these little sunflowers embroidered and it was really cute for the spring or the summer. I think more the summer than anything but I really like this um, and it was only $1.50 so I might as well. I got a lot of shorts um, or pants that I'm going to cut to shorts. And the first pair I got is a Levi's black denim. Nothing special about it really, just I'm gonna cut them into high-waisted shorts and I've been looking for these everywhere and they were $8, so I lied. This is the most expensive thing I bought. Um, yeah, they're eight bucks, so I don't know, but I just don't come across ones very often, especially ones that fit me, so I don't know, I picked those up. And then I got this little pink like crop top. I don't know if it's a crop top really. It's like kind of in between a crop top and a normal top I guess if that makes sense. Um, but it's a baby pink and I don't know if you could tell but there's like a strange seashell pattern that you can see in the light. Um, I hope that's picking up but yeah it's really cute and it's $3.99 but the yellow tags were 25% off so basically it was $3 which is pretty good. They have a lot of good deals like that too, like the tags mean different things that give you discounts. So then I got these um, olive green high-waisted shorts and I know they look really wide and big but when you roll them up they like kind of form fit your body a little better. So um, they look fine. So I got a lot of high-waisted shorts actually and these were $2.99. And then the last five things that I got, it was a um, white tag deal, which was five items for $3. So these five things were all $3 combined, so I thought that was kind of crazy. And if you buy a white tag individually, it's $120. So it's basically like getting two free items. So I just scavenged the racks to find five things that I like. The first pair are these shorts, and they're just this like bright, pretty blue color. And they're high-waisted, um, elastic band. I know they look kind of mom, but I will do a lookbook and prove to you all that these don't look kind of mom-ish or grandma-ish or whatever. So, um, yeah, I'll try to do a lookbook on my break. I can't pro- I'm really behind on videos, guys. I have a LA haul, I have my Birchbox, my My Glam, 
Um, I still want to do a movie collection for you guys. Like, I'm seriously, like, running slow on videos. I don't know. I'm so sorry if you guys have noticed and were wondering, I guess. But, oh, and off topic, if you guys want to see, like, some of the pictures from the photo shoot that I took today, um, add my Facebook. I'll put the link down below um, because I will post a few pictures from the shoot, like, just to show you guys what it was like. Um, so yeah, like my Facebook if you want to see some of those. The next thing I got were these black high-waisted shorts, and they're just pretty self-explanatory. I mean, like I said, I was just trying to look for things that I liked that fit me well because um, it was five for three, and I just found these, and I'm like, eh, why not? I already have black pants that I'm cutting into shorts, but I might as well just like, I don't know, get another. You can never have too many shorts, right? So, the last pair of shorts, I know this is like a, a pretty much a shorts haul, um, are these, they're, well I rolled one leg up when I tried them on to see, and they're like, they remind me of conductor or a railroad worker, I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else, but um, they're just blue and white vertical stripes, and I think they're really cute and unique. And then I got this long sweater dress and I have a million sweaters that are beaded like this but this is really really long so I feel like it'd be really cute as like a sweater dress in the springtime when it's kind of chilly out um, I know we're getting some like overcast days mixed with heat that's really strange in California I don't even know but um, this would be perfect for those kind of days so it just has really pretty like gold beads and jewels everywhere. And then the last thing I got is this um, muted like long flowy shirt and I just thought it was pretty. It reminds me of a watercolor to be honest. I don't know why. Well I guess I do know why because it looks like a watercolor painting. There you go explaining myself. But I think it's like pretty pastel colors. I mean they're kind of muted pastels but I think they'd still work for the spring. So I just got that too. So that is all I got. Um, comment down below telling me what you'd like to see next. If you would like Birchbox, My Glam, LA Haul, or my, I can't think right now, um, lookbook. Like tell me what you guys want to see next. If you do want to see a lookbook next, I can't promise that that'll be the next one I make because those do take a little more time. But I will work on all of those for you. So um, just talk to me about it. Um, I also have a few things I could scrounge together for a collective haul. I got a few pairs of shoes. I'll do that with the LA part, maybe. I don't know. I'm just all over the place right now. And I haven't talked to you guys in a while. Um, so, yeah, that's all. And I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and if you haven't entered my contest already or my giveaway, I'm having a giveaway right now. Um, you could win a Naked 2 palette and some other Forever 21 goodies. There's going to be two winners. So go down below. I will link the video to vote um, for my brother's musical band. Of course, musical band. What other kind of band is there? No. Go down below to vote for my brother's band and uh, to play Warp Tour. And then you have a chance of winning. So hope you guys enjoyed this. And let me know what you think. Okay. Bye.